Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, I'm going to review another monster G.I. Joe vehicle. The Rolling Thunder. And as the box says, over three feet long when fully extended. Well, that's quite a beast, as you can see. Well, I don't have this uh, complete. Uh, these two antenna are missing. Uh, me and antennas are not in the best uh, uh, terms, but uh, anyway, even the illustration does not depict both antennas. So, you can see the, bark, the box art is awesome. Uh, and the vehicle in itself is awesome. And here it is. Uh, it comes with this uh, figure, Armadillo, uh, which oddly appears, uh, oddly resembles like a Minimoy from Arthur and the Minimoys. Well, let's take a look at this. This is what matters now. So, this is a kind of tank uh, and missile launcher. You can see it rolls right, so it's an eight-wheeler. Uh, and it has this small vehicle, small little tank car. And it has this big gun and these four turrets and it's loaded with missiles it has six missiles and it has this they call this the carousel because this would fire at any direction and you can just take this and place it anywhere or just here where it fits but it also has these three bigger missiles and other than that it's just big also these two turrets let's swing around but as you can see this is all there is until you do something well yeah you can swing this around and you need to open you need to extend this part and open this sides entrances the ramps for the ATV go like this. The ATV can cross right here. And then you have these bay doors as well. Because you're going to pull the big missiles. So these are like ICBMs or frag missiles because you launch them, they're big, you can see they're big, and they have this cluster of uh, bombs inside, they say cluster bombs, 2.300 kilohertz, kilograms, that's a G, something like, kilograms, So you can just take the cover and you can take out these cluster bombs. And there you go. This is the Rolling Thunder. So this is an awesome vehicle. Uh, 
I got it in a uh, early state of my uh, throwback at the collection around 2010 nine something like that so it was rather cheap at the time now it would be a lot more expensive uh, even in this condition and with the box so only missing these two antennas that are practically impossible to get and uh, with a figure of course uh, yeah, so I, I was pretty happy to get this, and it's an amazing vehicle, as you can see. Here, take a look at Armadillo. Ugly ass. Ah, come on. Well, he's ugly. <coughs> Doesn't bring any accessories with him. So... It's just this. Well, guys, this is the Rolling Thunder. So, figure wise, uh, it doesn't have any pegs like most other vehicles, but you can seat two right here, four on the turrets. And three right here on the command center and riding driving four actually doesn't have a peg but you can put one figure standing right there you have a seat opposite uh, opposite to this one right here and then you have place to put someone standing in this area right there Two driving, one coach, one standing. This is riding shotgun. So this is an amazing vehicle, yeah. It's one of the big ones. Uh, a big chunk of plastic. <laughs> but it is awesome. This vehicle would never exist in real life. Ever. But, uh, look at it. Uh... With G.I. Joe lines, this would be plausible, at least. Uh, so, here it is. Whoops. He wants to fire on his own. Huh. Well, guys, I, hope you, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, of the big guns. Uh, monster vehicles from G.I. Joe. And... Uh, don't forget to bust up some likes and subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to receive further notifications of new videos. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, as I said, and see you next time. Yo Joe.